Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my last chance makeup look. I just recently did a declutter. It is in two parts. These are the products that I felt like I wanted to declutter, but I didn't want to until I tried them one last time. I'm just going to be trying all of the products that I was kind of iffy about in my declutter, and then I'll give you the final verdict on if I am decluttering them or if I'm keeping them. And there's probably quite a few more products. It's just like I had a few in each category like i literally have three concealers and i'm gonna try and use them all today i'm gonna apologize in advance i straightened my hair for the first time in probably like four months and i just don't know what to do with my hair so if it moves a trillion times in this video or if i touch it a trillion times my hair is just so long right now and i hate my long hair like i need it to be at least this short hopefully the next time i film i'll have a haircut so if y'all want to see me test my declutter things for maybe the last time then just keep watching i'm gonna start with my eyes i'm really planning on doing like a cool toned smoky glittery look because i have this flower beauty warrior shadow and bullet i've tried it once and it just wasn't as glittery as i wanted it to be so the eyeshadow palette i'm going to be using is the nyx i want pop palette this is the one in nouveau chic if you're used to watch any of my videos i was literally obsessed with these i have this one in surreal my heart i feel like this kind of goes with the tones i was swatching these last night like figuring out what i was gonna do and like i don't know like i feel like they sheer out really easily so hopefully i'll be able to build it in these up i also don't have like an eyeshadow base primer that i'm gonna get rid of i use the same one on a super smooth concealer today because i literally haven't used this in so long to start in this palette I'm gonna go in with this purple first and like stamp it in the crease like I would my James Charles. I just feel like this is gonna need help and I know I should like try it out first and be like, oh, well now it does, but I don't wanna like mess up my eyeshadow. And this purple does have like shimmer in it, but we're just gonna have to go with it. Yeah, this is actually really shimmery. I never used this like as a shimmer shadow. I always do this as a matte, but like I guess since it's like sticking to the concealer, I don't know how people ever keep their eyeshadow like round like this and not go into a cat eye. This is blending so well. Ew, I hate my long hair. It's disgusting. There are people who like have their hair types like, you know, I, I'm definitely short hair. Now I'm going to go in with that deep like eggplant color. But this is actually MAC. Whenever I feel like there's like not blended edges or I feel like I need to build it up, like I'm not even adding product on the brush and it just like effortlessly blends. Like what is happening? This is so good. I think it's just because like <laughs> I've been using those James Charles shadows. Those are real hard. Ugh, literally look at me doing purple again. I feel like I need some dimension. I think I'm gonna go with the, in with the black and the gray in this palette. Let's just messily kind of mix all three of these together. I'm just dancing around those three shades, trying to get some dimension. I'm going to focus this on the inner and outer corner, even though we're not trying to do a halo eye, but it's probably going to happen that day. Now I'm going to take this pointed brush. I'm going to mix these two shades because I just need something to blend the very edge out. I just feel like it's just all one color at the end and I don't like that. Maybe I should try and do a grungy look. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone with like the light pink in the palette. I still have to add that color. I feel like it's gonna like either look so good or it's not gonna like go at all. Let's see, shall we? I think I'm gonna like put it on the back of my hand. So I have a big chunk on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna kind of mix it together because I don't know, I just feel like I need to. Yeah, I am gonna go all over my eye. I just feel like this is not that glittery. There's just like a few specks of glitter. Sometimes more glitter in it, but I just feel like it's not like packed in there enough. It's just so like sporadic. And we'll see if my eyelids crack or get all hard and crunchy. It actually is looking better. Um, I feel like the second time I went in, it was a lot more glittery, which I don't know if that's a good thing. For my primer, I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. Natural Glow Lotion. I don't have a primer that I was like on the pins about. All right. Oh, see, that's like the difficulty of this video because like now I won't know if it's the powder's fault or if it's the... And I was gonna do like one on each eye and then one in the center of the face. I think I'm gonna use Maybelline Fit Me on the face just because I know this is like a thinner concealer. My two that I really, like I literally haven't used in so long and they kind of look a little similar. <laughs> this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is the Maybelline Master Conceal. Like I literally forgot that this was in my drawer and then this one I feel like every time I use it, it like creases 
really badly on this eye i'm gonna put about this much of this one it's kind of the same but this one's really thick i feel like i should blend this one out so then i know that there's no like other product in it making it crease if that makes sense Wait, why did that just blend out so beautifully <laughs> well, i said i was gonna use that on my face but i really want to see how this looks on my face these honestly look identical so i'm gonna do this on this side i'll do with the maybelline one on the forehead there we go. I know I shouldn't be doing this out of the tube, but I was just kind of getting the vibe since I was doing it with the LA Girl one. I'm gonna be Maybelline Fit Me Concealer on my forehead. For powder, I'm using this Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Waterproof Powder, and it's pressed. Like, I literally haven't used a pressed powder in so long. This is why I love loose powders, because I can use a sponge with it. I'm gonna take this um, eyeshadow brush from AOA Studio, the E12 one. Too, and and just kind of like pack it on there and tap it off just a little because I don't want too much. So the LA Girl one kind of collects in it and then when you look up there's like those blank spots where your creases are. That's what I mean by collect. And then the Maybelline one is just kind of like, it's just there. There's no blank spots. I'm just focusing this on the under eye. I'm going to bring this down where my like texture is. <gasps> nuh uh. Where I'm putting this my pores are disappearing. Like, I have really bad texture in here that looks really bumpy. When I turn to the side, I can see it, but, like, you can barely see it because it's not being amplified by, like, the dew. I'm gonna see if I can use my sponge. I'm just gonna go in it where there's no extra product so that at least it won't get, like, concealer in there or anything. And just kind of, like, go over the rest of the center of my face because I don't want it to be like super powdered if you like pressed powders i might say to go for this one there's like that little line under my eye that looks like there's like no concealer under it i'm ready to finish my eyes for my lightweight lash line i'm just gonna take this brush that i started with and just i didn't put any additional product on it but there's quite a bit of eyeshadow on this ew Oh, that looks disgusting. This probably isn't the eyeshadow's fault. It's probably the concealer's fault. It's probably the brush. So I never use this ghost powder either. I mean, my face already looks super dry, so might as well. I'm gonna kind of like sweep it under there while I do my eyeshadow to see if that helps anything. I'm gonna go in with this like really precise brush with the purple and then with that deep purple. I don't know how I'm supposed to make this grungy. Now I'm gonna take a detail crease brush with the transition shade just so that I have not that purple in the brush. And just like sweep it under my eye and blend it up. <sighs> I just hate this eye so much. Like it, <sighs> why do you have to cause so many problems? I don't want this to be like precise out here. I want it to be blended. I'm gonna mix the purple and the eggplant shade and just try and go ham and not care and then i'm gonna take some of that skin tone shade and just kind of like i wanted to do like gradient i'm definitely trying to clean it up but like I'm trying to keep it precise and messy at the same time i think i'm gonna put this on the lower lash line and you might as well i actually am gonna use the applicator though because i need like that really precise point i'm gonna take my elf detail crease brush and blend that out just so that there's not any harshness take that deep eggplant in the purple deepen up the powder pour. Make sure they connect. I'm gonna sweep away this powder because I don't want a white line. I'm just trying to clean it up. Oh gosh, what have I done? So I just keep taking this white powder and I'm just kind of like going in the direction it should be. So for my inner corner shade, this was a product that I shouldn't have kept because I don't use it, but it's the Essence Snowflake eyeshadow. I'm gonna take this brush and blend it up. I literally look so crazy right now for bronzer slash contour this Catrice prime and fine palette in ashy radiance i just never ever use this i'm gonna take the f125 and dunk it in there because i'm pretty sure this isn't powdery at all maybe i won't look too much like a vampire when i get color on my face i'm gonna make sure it's like blended everywhere ew gross my face looks <laughs> so blush and highlighter i'm just gonna keep the same just because i don't have anything in that category then i'm just gonna do lashes brows mascara everything that day okay so i didn't end up adding lashes i just really didn't feel like it but for my blush i used the essence satin touch blush in satin love just because i feel like i needed more of like a neutral cool tone blush and then for highlighter i used the smashbox and casey holmes spotlight highlighting palette and i just used this one just because that wasn't one that i was questionable about getting 
getting rid of but i just never use that and then for my mascara was something that i was just kind of like on the fence about this is the let my mega length mascara i tried a few times and i wasn't like crazy about it but i mean it's like it's all right but i feel like if i do a lip color it's gonna look really bad i was gonna do nyx embellishment but there's no way i'm putting that with this look the nyx lingerie with the lipsticks in general so i have this one in bedtime flirt i oh this is like my exact lip color i'm just gonna put moon child on because there wasn't anything in here that I like completely hated. I know that I'm gonna get rid of the LA Girl Pro Conceal now because it has proven my point that it literally creases so bad. I feel like I would need to play around with this Flower Warrior eyeshadow. This looks good now. At first when I tried it, I thought it wasn't that glittery. I feel like you probably do need to mix it on the back of your hand and then put it on. Then you also don't get too much product and it's not creasing and it's not crackling and there's not glitter falling over my face. So I really like this and I'm probably gonna try and use this with more of like a cool tone, like neutral look and not purple again and this nyx avant pop eyeshadow palette surprised me so much i thought that i was gonna be so disappointed because the last time i tried an eyeshadow palette that i used to love like i hated it and i was like this is so bad um i don't know why i ever liked it so this is really good and really blendable um it is kind of pricey i'm pretty sure these are like 16 dollars but this one was really good now that i know these are actually good i'm probably gonna play with these a lot more i'm like so excited and so impressed about this so yeah everything else was kind of like meh um i'm probably still gonna keep it but i'm really excited to use this flower shadow again i it's like it's growing on me this powder was good to like brighten up but i just hate having this much powder on my face like i have so much powder on my face right now and i actually really like the color of this lipstick i did not know that it looked like my lips felt better so here's the finished look so yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Literally every video, I almost fall out of my chair. <laughs> Anyone else just laugh at their self? Sorry. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I'm so excited to get my hair cut. I'm so done with it.